All right, we out here again. October afternoon, getting a late start. I went and snagged some fresh live gizzards. Since that was the bait of choice yesterday. So I'm gonna suspend some live and some cut. We'll cast some out to on bottom. See how they uh wanna eat. Right now I am in a creek bed just slap full of bait clouds, fish. I'm right here in the deep channel of it. It's 55 feet. And it has ledges that go up into I think the 30s. So I'm gonna suspend baits right here in the channel. And I'm gonna cast a few up on the ledges. I just, it's the whole area I just marked fish like crazy so we're gonna work this creek today nothing hooks up we'll go, uh, check out the one I messed with yesterday my aerator got clogged so hopefully not all my shad died Some live suspended down there. I'm gonna get my rest of my spread out and hopefully we'll get on some soon. Oh. Yep, first customer. This is a big cut gizzard. He's got a little bit of shoulders on him. That definitely feels like a blue. I'm trying to force them away from the other rod I don't think he's gotten into it no oh, no there he did oh nope not a bad one to start the day off with gonna lose my chunk So I was starting to question moving. I mean, there's still a ton of fish below me. Solid hook. Fasty fella. Well, 
lost the guts though. So yeah, that's nice. I like that fin. Get that hook. Eight pounds, nine ounces, twenty eight inches. And got me wet. But yeah, there's just a ton of fish under me. So we'll hang here a little bit longer. Been here about forty minutes, and that's been the only thing, but. There's just tons of fish here. I think I'll end up working into probably 40s feet. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, that's a fish right there. That's my big gizzard head. Might not be as big as I think he is. But he's feeling pretty good. There's a little more fat. Feels like a blue. Net ready. Oh, where here he's fighting now. If that's a blue or flathead. That's a that's a flathead. No, don't take my gizzard head. Oh, need to bring him out. <clears throat> there we go. That's a nice tank. Kind 
kind of a pale color. And on and make sure nothing tries to sneak off while I'm busy with him. He's at 29 pounds, three ounces, and 43 inches long. That's a nice flathead. Look at that big old mouth. Damn, back you go. You're almost 30 there, buddy. You'll be there before you know it. Alright, so yeah, I'm still on this, ooh, he got me good, creek channel bend here, it's getting ready to be night, that was Carolina rig on the bottom, with that big old gizzard head, alright, so found my head, fell under my seat, so yeah, big old gizzard shad head, Carolina rig I think that might be on the ledge in this channel Been here almost 30 minutes, so that's been the only activity, but we'll give another little bit here let the uh, Sunset and we'll head into some Some nice 40 foot holes further up in the creek. I want to take a look at. some more here oh, we got one going here hard to tell because of these stupid boat wakes <sighs> bugs fly my face that's not a hard hit that's a big piece of gizzard Take that rod down. Make sure he didn't have slack and he's starting to. Ah, oh, it's every time I gotta do something. My daggum boat goes by. So annoying. Feels like an eight pound blue. Yeah, someone's, someone's grilling some hamburgers or something, making me hungry. Yep. Uh, oh, nope. That's a channel. 
That's why I was all tap, 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 flop, flop. Floppy old channel cat. I think he's good enough. Yep. <laughs> Just suck down my big old hunk of shad. Yeah, probably a five pounder. Yeah, probably four. He's a fat guy though. Big old fat belly. So he is a porker. That's gonna be a big channel. See, that seems right here. Right sunset, they getting active. So like I said, I marked a ton of fish in here. We got a bunch of little schools of something around me. Didn't bring my bait light though. I think I left it in the truck. Didn't bring a bait rod either. I, mean, I got plenty of bait on me, but I always try to replenish while I'm catfishing. All right, we'll give it another while here until it dies down. And we'll move on up in this creek because it looks like this bait's going in so hopefully these cats are chasing them all right right here we got one going on the sand tee that looks like another flathead yep fish on Ooh, he don't want to be on. Need my headlamp. See, so yeah, right here at sunset. Well, he's already up at the top. Yeah, he's another rod, too. That's yeah, blue. Not that big of a blue either. Ah, these bugs. Not that big of a blue at all. It's made a mess of things. Got the mess cleaned up. Feisty pot belly. Six pounds, eight ounces. 25 inches long. And that was Santee. So out of all presentations I've given them, they've hit one of each. Shad I had out there. So I always like to do different rigs, different presentations, see uh see what they're how they're wanting it. Yesterday all they were hitting was uh suspended. My boat full of slime, I'm slipping in the sliding. And I've done about wore out the bottoms of these boots 
all the tread. Yeah, this whole creek's just nothing but bait. I see all the ripples at the surface. up my big gizzard head. Let me get my lot. Hopefully more will start hitting. Alright. Finally got one in a new spot. Suspended gizzard shed. Looking like blue. Got some party going on at the house on the shore. Man, you got that thing wrapped around here. Here, nothing but that. Not sure how loud it is on the GoPro. It's free. Six pounder. That's the count at five today. One of the big shed. Set timer for 40 minutes. We got 15 minutes left, so if it's something else, I'll probably just hang around. But if that's it in the 40 minutes, I'm gonna try some holes and ledges further down this creek. And I think nothing there, I might hit another creek and definitely get away from this racket. Well, I gave it a good go, but they just shut down. I've hit two other creeks. Nothing. No nibbles, taps, bumps, nothing. And just seems, barely even see anything on the sonar now. It seems the best spots there throughout the day and then right after right after sunset it's just now early october we're at the 10th i want to go ahead and call it gonna work tomorrow but not a bad trip a good good flathead but that was about the only big fish so we'll we'll try it again this weekend and we get on some more big fall flatheads and blues pecking on but today they seem to uh really favor the carolina rig on the bottom of the cut shad i think two were suspended 
But yesterday they like the suspended live shad. Didn't have no perch with me today. Well, I did, but I didn't really use it. But we'll try it again next weekend. And hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give me a like and subscribe.